Lynn fam, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and review part three of this Married to Medicine reunion. So they start with Apollo. Um, Phaedra is pretty much saying that she brought him because they were asking about him, well, really only Toya. Um, so Toya started explaining herself, you know, she said she felt like she was just sharing, I guess, her opinion or advice. Phaedra got defensive because she was asking her a simple question. I don't think she got offended by that. I think she got offended when Toy was trying to tell her what to do with her kids. Then they talk about the last time we saw both Phaedra and Apollo interacting, which was that garage scene. Oh, Lord. But they are clearly in a much better place, which is great because obviously they have kids. Then he asked about Apollo's relationship with Todd and Candy because everybody fell out and I forgot why. So Peter fell out with Todd, I think, and Todd also fell out with Apollo. And I don't remember if Peter and Apollo fell out, but basically he was saying that he had just saw Todd and Todd came up to him and apologized um, for causing issues in his family um he was pretty much apologizing for the reason that candy and phaedra even fell out which was them storing apollo's things in the garage well this is according to apollo this is what apollo was saying he said he felt like they did that for a storyline um and it just caused a lot of problems so that's interesting um i would have never thought they did that for a storyline but it was just really weird how they never said anything and and they were just sitting there like i mean i just I don't know. I thought you knew. And I was with Phaedra. Like, well, if you thought I knew, why was it just, why did it just never casually come up? So that's interesting to hear from Apollo that it was a storyline. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. That's crazy though that Candy threw away a real friendship for a storyline. And then it led to all of that craziness. And then Todd and Apollo not even friends no more. It really wasn't worth it. Everybody fell out over a storyline, according to Apollo. So then Apollo talked about his time in prison. He was in the shoe and he was in the shoe with Joe Judice. That is very interesting. So then Phaedra and Dr. G talk. They talk about this 4K. I don't know why we still talking about it. I mean, I believe it. Also, it sounds like he's not over it. Like he wish he had that 4K. So why Sweet Tea over here worried about quad? She really need to be worried about Phaedra. So they start talking about his head and Simone explains her issue. And you know how pretty much she feels like heavily speaks for Jackie when she doesn't need to because Jackie is grown. And if Jackie has a problem, Jackie can open her mouth and say it herself. We don't need Jackie's representative. You know, heavily always says, you know, this is me. I say it for her. She don't want me to say it. I don't believe that. I believe they have little talks on the phone and, you know, Jackie talk all her dirt and heavily says what Jackie says on the phone. So... And Jackie knows that she's going to do that, which is why she does it. So, it, and it's crazy because I feel like they've admitted that before. So it's crazy how one, in one instance, they can say, yeah, Jackie's, I mean, yeah, Heavenly says, you know, what I think and all of this. And I, I don't mind being her mouthpiece because she got a brain to protect. But then in the next breath, they say, I don't control what comes out of Heavenly's mouth. Heavenly says whatever. Like they are just so full of it. So I was kind of with Simone, but this is what I will say about Simone. Simone is not a good communicator at all. And that's probably why Jackie never wants to talk to her. And it's just crazy how every reunion, they talk about her yelling and they tell her how bad of a communicator she is. And she just takes it as a joke, like she just don't get it. But you losing friends and you don't understand why, girl, it's not a joke. The moment Jackie started explaining herself, Simone cut her off. So, I mean, it's just like, okay, well, that's why I don't want to talk to you. I mean, I don't even get to talk. Simone feels like Jackie never says anything to her face, but clearly it's because you're not that approachable and you don't really know how to communicate without making yourself the victim, yelling or interrupting someone. Nobody wants to talk to somebody like that. <laughs> I would just let you be too, girl. But then Alicia chimes in and she also makes a good point. And she says that whether Heavenly or Jackie said it, you knew she wasn't happy about the location. So why not just change it? Simone claims she couldn't change it. I don't believe she couldn't change it. I believe that they could have, I don't believe that. So then Alicia and Toya start going at it for a little bit because clearly Toya and Eugene do not care for Alicia and Kima. And I feel like it's because they are just polar opposites. You know, Kima is just like manhood, manpower, you know, we're in control. And Eugene is like, I don't mind 
letting my wife wear the pants sometimes. I'm going to sit here and shut up and eat my biscuits. But that doesn't mean that I'm any less of a man. So I feel like they just really don't get along like that. Kima rubs all of the guys the wrong way, you know, a little bit. But he just seems to bother them the most. And I think it's just because him and Kima run their households completely different. And it may trigger him a little bit when he starts speaking. I, I mean, but I get it, Eugene, because he be triggering me too sometimes. But um, the ladies end on a good note. Mine is heavily a sweet tea. I don't hate that they're moving forward, but I hate how they're all moving forward with nothing being talked out. Like, nobody was really held accountable for anything except Quad. So <laughs> I feel like they're kind of back to square one next season. I don't think anything was truly resolved, but we will see. And that wraps up the season. Um, I think the season was okay. Um, Heavenly has stated that everybody got their contracts. I'm not surprised about that. And I'm okay with everybody returning. Um, I wouldn't have minded if Phaedra or Sweet Tea had left and maybe they brought Contessa back, but I don't mind that everybody is staying either. Um, but hopefully they step it up next season. You know, hopefully Phaedra brings her personal life. I don't know. I just hope it's not everybody against Quad again next season because they clearly need a Quad. Um, but I think her and Jackie are probably good. Her and Heavenly are good. I don't know about her and Phaedra. Her and Simone, I don't know. Simone might not really be over it. We'll see. And I don't know about Toya. But hopefully they're in a better place. Like, hopefully she maybe got, like, two friends. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about everything, what y'all thought about the season in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>